Hey friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel and happy Easter! Uh, today's video is going to be a Nicole Tries video. I'm going to try to make a craft. I'm going to try to make these cute little bunny flower pot things. It's It seems like it's a good, you know, level of difficulty. Um, I should be able to do it. I have all of the, all of the pieces, not just some of the pieces, and I you know I'm, I'm optimistic, which is a terrible way to start these videos. You should really start at like base, bottom, no expectations, and then you can only go up. But alas, alas, that's not how this is gonna go. Uh, so let me get my instructions up. So the first thing I, so I have my little pots here. I have three pots. So I'm gonna make three pots worth. So the first thing I think I kind of have to do is make the pom-pom butts. Okay, so actually the first step according to them is to cut the feet of the pot of the bunny out of the felt. So this is the color of felt that I have. Um, it's gray. The color that the pom-poms are going to be is slightly less dark, but they're both gray and so, you know what, sometimes bunnies have patterns on them. Is my logic. Actually, you know what, I don't care about the instructions today. I'm going to make the pom-pom first because this recipe, this recipe, these instructions assume that you bought store-bought pom-poms and I'm making homemade pom-poms. So they know the size of their pom-poms already and I don't. How many times can I say pom-poms? I probably counted it. So this, this, uh, these instructions require me to have a fork. So I'm going to go get a fork. Okay, so take your fork. Wrap your yarn around the fork. Um, you're supposed to keep it in the center, but my, my yarn is too fluffy. Cut the yarn and hold it in place. So take another piece of yarn that's a couple inches long and thread it through the bottom of the fork to, from front to back. Another piece of yarn through the fork tines. I just got lipstick all over that. That was stupid. Okay, got it. And then pull it around the top of the fork. <laughs> Tie them together. So then you pull it off and then you have to pull it tighter. But it's already a knot. I guess I shouldn't have knotted it yet. Pull it tighter. And it should curl and turn flat and round. I don't know about that. Still pretty ball shaped. The yarn will also make a bunch of tiny loops. Tie another knot on the top of the other one just to secure things up. So tight as it can go. Knot. And then I take my scissors and cut the part that was wrapped. It is very unsymmetrical, I'll tell you that right now. Yeah, I'm gonna try again with different yarn because this person's using much smaller yarn. Luckily, I also have gray yarn that is, that is nice and thin. Um, where's the start? Okay, so wrap around the fork. Okay, so I did it 50 times because that's what they said for a big one, how long to do it for. Cut that. And cut myself a little bit more. And then hold that in place. Stick this through the tines of the fork. tighter. That looks really small, but it does look more like what it's supposed to, more flat. Okay. Okay. That's a little 
little bit better than what the other one looks like. The other one was like very, very unsymmetrical. <laughs> Now I can do the other side. She didn't come out very even or big. You can definitely see where like the seam is or whatever. Alright, well I guess her bunny butts aren't that much bigger, so we're going to stick with this and I'm going to make uh, two more. Eventually. Okay, three pom-poms. Three bunny butts. So now that I know what size the bunny butts are, I'm going to cut out the bunny feet. They're going to have to be real small. I have four vastly differently sized feet, but that's okay. Now I'm going to paint the pink little pads and toes uh, onto the bunny feet um, to the best of my ability. Okay, that's quite cute. Not sure if it's quite the right shape, but I'm going with it. Okay, little bunny toes, painted. So now I need my hot glue gun. So this tutorial involved using two different sizes of pom-poms, one for the bunny butt and one for the tail. I'm just gonna glue on a little circle of felt um, as the tail. While that is heating up, I'm going to go ahead and start trying to create the greenery uh, inside my pot. So for the greenery, I found these really cute little like Easter egg plant things um, that I'm going to use for the background of the pot. Uh, I think I'm going to have to cut them up though um, in order to make them fit and to go in each each different pot. Time to butterfly these pom poms. You know, is it really glue gunning if you don't burn yourself? Like, does it even count? Third butt done. Alright, now I have three little bunny butts. Uh, and I guess wait for that to cool off and set. Uh, I will just keep making the rest of my pots. So the way that the person in the instruction manual uh, did it actually is they glued the actual plants to the inside of their pots. See, now my problem is I don't really have enough greenery to make this bunny look like normal. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill the pot. Um, so there's my greenery so far. And as you can see, there's a lot of empty space in there because I didn't buy a ton of greenery. Uh, I'm going to fill the pot with, with a little bit of padding of felt. And then I'm going to put green on top of it. Uh, another idea that the um, the person who made this in, in uh, this tutorial uh, actually did is just filled it with treats, like uh, like uh, Easter treats. 
So you could do that as well. There is just glue string everywhere. I have this stuff that kind of looks like grass, like turf. It's like foam with like fuzzy grass stuff on it. So I'm just gonna put a layer of that down. Now I have a little bit of bed of grass. Makes it look a little bit more full. Now all I have to do is take a bunny, put take some of the old hot glue that spilled over off of it, put some more hot glue on the opposite side of it. And glue it to the pot. And then I can take some of these little eggs from the flowers and also add those also just to add a little bit more fullness to the pot and so yeah I'm basically just gonna do that um, twice more and then I will show you a close-up of the final product see you soon and here we have the finished products um, they're a little bit a janky. Uh, you can't quite tell that that's a bunny butt unless you know ahead of time, in my opinion. Um, this one's tail is like way up there. Um, but generally I think they're pretty cute. I think they came out pretty good. Um, I should have bought more like leaves and, and grass for greenery and stuff like that, but I honestly, I'm proud of them and yeah. Let me know what you guys think below if you try this out yourself or what you think of my uh, interesting little creatures. Uh, and yeah, just have a happy Easter. Eat some chocolate and stuff. Later days.